Alright, so I couldn't stay a long time without making some videos and today I'm gonna show you how to delete the backups made from the phone and that also applies to the backups made from the PC itself if you're using a Windows uh, 10 PC of course uh, because um, I've got a lot of questions, even uh, mails, uh, uh, saying that uh, they did a hard reset on the uh, on the phone. They did a hard reset. They, they removed the SD card. They formatted the SD card, uh, and the problems they are they are still there. The applications that they were crashing before they are still crashing. Uh, which this might work like 50/50. For me, it worked already two times. For example, with TubeCast, TubeCast uh, didn't want to open. I hard reset the phone, uh, formatted the SD card and the application still didn't want to open. And uh, I did this fix, deleted the backup and then after that made a clean backup. And after that I made a hard reset and then used the clean backup and then it worked fine. So let's go into straight into the PC and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do that on the phone as well, but uh, it's more harder a bit, but let's go into the PC. Okay, so we are on PC here. Let's go into Microsoft Edge or any other browser that uh, you want to use and just type OneDrive. You're gonna go, it's gonna take you to the, it's gonna take you to the website. Um, then you, you have to log in with the account that you are logged in into your phone. I'm already logged in, but you have to log in with the same account that you have on your phone. Uh, and then here, when you are here on the main menu, Click here on the bottom left where you see the space you have. So I have 40.7 megabytes used from 140 gigabytes. You, you might have something different, but click on this one. And once you click on this one, it will take you to your storage. And here on the left side, you have device backups. Then uh, this, this device backups, it's for the phones. For desktops, you have here PCs. These are the, my desktops. Uh, Todd Rich Gaming, it's my this is my main PC and this is my tablet. I have two ones. I guess this one is the wrong one. I have to check one. See I have two as well, but I have only one tablet. So I have to delete one. I have to to see which is the correct name because I formatted the tablet as well. So for the tablets, for the desktops or tablets, you come here. Let's go again. Main menu. Then you click on PCs and it will take you to a new tab and here at the bottom you see the pieces and the the pieces you have uh, the desktops you have already synchronized uh, with the OneDrive so you click on the on one you don't want and remove PC and then of course you can go and create another backup for phones you come here like I, like I mentioned before um, on the space on, the, on your storage it will take you here to the manage storage and here on the left side you have device backups or if you had for example uh, an older uh, phone for example a Lumia 800 series and now you have a Lumia 900 series so you want to remove that old phone that you don't have anymore you can come here as well and uh, delete it from here here as you can see I, I had previously a 9 925 and now I have a 640XL I changed this name and even though if you delete it, it will still keep the old name. But you can you delete it and it will delete all the bugs, all the previous bugs that you have. Just press delete, delete. Uh, it's not a problem to delete because I can go on the phone. And the backup is deleted. Now let's go into the phone. Okay, now on the phone, you just go into settings. Go into all settings. Uh, update and security. This is for Windows 10 mobile, of course, for Windows Phone 8.1 it might be different. Then go into Backup, Backup, and here uh, more options. You, you have to have uh, the backup app content for particip participating apps, you have to have it enabled. And this uh, back in backup settings uh, like Start Screen, you have to have this both enabled. Go into More Options, and here you have the button Backup Now, but don't just Backup Now because if you have for example let's say um, let's say this one 8 stream for me doesn't want to open um, so with a hard reset or without hard reset with the removing from SD card it, everything this 8 stream doesn't want to open doesn't want to work then go and disable to backup this um, this application so if you disable to, to 
to back up this application once you're gonna go back now and make the backup this application will not get backed up so the problems from this application will not get backed up so you can come here I don't have this problem so I am gonna enable it but if you have the problem with any of the apps that you have just disable it and then come here and back it up now so it, this will take some time of course once it will be over it will tell you that uh, it's over you see already started to make the backup it shouldn't take much time it's from device from device and then it depends of your internet connection as well okay so these were the steps guys it's not anything difficult but it's these little tricks that uh, that sometimes make these uh, applications that these crashes make them impossible to fix them because how there is not an option to reset a certain application you kind of have to do this because the applications they get their settings their bugs they get backed up to the cloud to OneDrive so this is the only way to fix it uh, it's not difficult as you saw but it's a bit pain in the ass because after that you have to go and reset your phone I didn't show you how to reset the phone because probably most of you know how to hard reset the phone but after the backup is uh, co accomplished, mine is still, uh, it's still backing up here at the top, it's still backing up. Once the backup is accomplished, go in your uh, desktop and check if the backup is there. So if the backup is there, just go and uh, hard reset your phone and try if the, uh, that application got fixed. Uh, for me, like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes uh, I actually I didn't have the, that part of sometimes didn't work. But it might not work for every application, of course. But this is a trick that I use to delete my backups, to delete the bugs that um, certain apps upload to the OneDrive. So yeah, if you found this video helpful for you guys, uh, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.